Ladies and gentlemen, you know, there's this misconception out there that to be loved by others is the ultimate success. But if you're living your truth, moving towards your goals, you'll realize something powerful, not everyone's going to be on your side. And that's okay. Some people will criticize, doubt, or even hate you for simply being you. They'll tell you what you can't do, what you're not good enough for, what's not realistic for someone like you. Let them, let them hate you. Because if you're true to your purpose, their words are just noise. Haters don't come after those who are standing still. They target those on a mission, those who are stirring things up, who are shaking up the norm. So if people are coming at you, take it as a sign you're moving forward. And they're just trying to pull you back. Don't spend time seeking validation. The ones who doubt you don't need your energy, and those who support you don't need your explanations. Your worth isn't determined by what others say or think. It's built on what you know about yourself, what you believe you can achieve. Now, you might ask, how do I deal with the hate channel it? Use their doubt, their negativity as fuel to keep going. Every time someone says you can't, let that push you to prove that you can. Every insult, every backhanded comment, let it remind you that you're strong enough to face adversity. Let them hate because their hate will never be greater than your strength. Finding strength in solitude is about discovering the power that comes from being comfortable in your own company and tapping into your inner resources without relying on the presence or validation of others. Solitude allows you to disconnect from the noise, expectations, and distractions that often come with the company of others. In this quiet space, you can hear your own thoughts more clearly, reconnect with your values, and focus deeply on what truly matters to you. It becomes a time for reflection and self-discovery, an opportunity to understand yourself more fully, away from the influence of outside opinions. When you embrace solitude, you give yourself the chance to confront your own fears and insecurities without interference. This process isn't always easy, as it requires facing aspects of yourself that may be challenging or uncomfortable. Yet, it's through this very confrontation that you find resilience and a new sense of self-reliance. By spending time alone, you learn that you can handle your thoughts, feelings, and challenges on your own. This self-assurance builds a quiet inner strength that doesn't depend on the presence of others to feel secure or at peace. Solitude also fosters creativity and clarity. When you're alone, you have the freedom to explore ideas, dream without judgment, and pursue activities that bring you fulfillment no matter how unconventional. Away from the demands of social life, you can experiment, make mistakes, and try new things without the fear of being judged. This creative freedom allows you to connect with your passions and hone your skills in ways that might not be possible in a group setting. The ideas and insights that emerge from these moments of solitude often lead to breakthroughs and personal growth. In solitude, you also learn the value of self-care and the importance of meeting your own needs. When you're constantly surrounded by others, it's easy to lose sight of your well-being as you focus on the needs and expectations of those around you. Solitude gives you the space to check in with yourself, to rest, recharge, and realign with your priorities. In this way, it helps you become more self-sufficient, teaching you how to nurture and care for yourself without depending on external support. One of the most powerful aspects of solitude is that it builds resilience. When you're comfortable being alone, you realize that you have the strength to stand on your own, to face challenges without needing someone by your side. This independence doesn't mean you don't value others or that you don't want connection, rather. It means you're not afraid to be on your own if circumstances require it. You trust in your ability to handle life's ups and downs without always needing validation, reassurance, or companionship. Finding strength in solitude is not about isolation, but about building a solid foundation within yourself. This inner strength makes you more resilient in relationships, work, and personal challenges because you're no longer reliant on others for a sense of security. You know that you can face adversity alone and emerge stronger. 
And this realization gives you a unique kind of freedom, freedom from the need for constant external support and the confidence to pursue your path, regardless of whether others join you or not. Focusing on actions, not words, is about committing to tangible progress rather than getting caught up in talk, promises, or intentions. Words can be powerful, but they're ultimately empty if not backed up by action. When you focus on actions, you're prioritizing real change and growth over appearances or superficial affirmations. It's easy to say what you're going to do, to make plans, or to share your goals with others, but the real test of commitment lies in consistently working toward those goals, even when no one is watching. When you shift your focus to actions, you become more disciplined and accountable. Rather than spending time discussing what you'll accomplish, you devote that time to making real progress. This action-oriented mindset helps build momentum and keeps you grounded in your goals, creating visible results that speak for themselves. Instead of seeking validation or approval through promises, you let your efforts showcase your dedication. This approach helps you avoid the distractions of praise or criticism and keeps you committed to steady, measurable steps forward. Taking action over words also builds credibility. People learn to trust you not because of what you say, but because of what you consistently do. Words can easily be forgotten or dismissed, but actions are memorable and impactful. By showing rather than telling, you demonstrate your commitment and reliability, earning respect from those around you. This trust you build through action also strengthens your relationships as people know they can count on you to follow through on your intentions. Actions provide valuable feedback and learning opportunities that words alone cannot offer. When you take action, you're putting yourself in situations where you can learn, grow, and adapt based on real life experiences. Each step you take teaches you something new, whether it's how to approach a challenge differently, how to improve a skill, or how to refine your strategy. Unlike words, which often remain hypothetical, Actions bring you face to face with reality, showing you where adjustments are needed and where you're making progress. This active learning process is crucial for growth as it enables you to adapt and evolve along the way. Focusing on actions also requires perseverance as the journey toward meaningful goals is often long and filled with obstacles. While words can provide motivation, it's action that keeps you moving forward, even when challenges arise. By committing to action, you develop resilience and grit, learning to push through difficulties rather than giving up at the first sign of resistance. This focus on taking consistent steps, no matter how small, teaches you the value of persistence and patience, helping you build the stamina necessary to reach your goals. Furthermore, focusing on actions helps you stay humble. Talking about goals can sometimes lead to a sense of premature achievement, creating an illusion of progress when, in reality, little has been accomplished. When you focus on what you're actually doing, rather than what you're saying, you remain grounded, always aware of how much further you have to go. This humility keeps you from becoming complacent and pushes you to keep working, even after you've achieved some level of success. It reminds you that there is always room for growth and improvement, keeping you motivated to continue putting in the effort. Ultimately, focusing on actions rather than words fosters a mindset of integrity and self-respect. You no longer rely on others' opinions or external praise to validate your journey because you're secure in the knowledge that you're doing the work. You know that each step you take brings you closer to your goals, regardless of what others may think or say. This commitment to action builds a sense of self-trust and inner confidence, empowering you to keep moving forward, knowing that your achievements are built on a foundation of effort and dedication rather than empty promises. Embracing your authenticity means fully accepting who you are, including your strengths, weaknesses, dreams, and values without trying to mold yourself into someone else's expectations. It's about stepping into your own skin with confidence, knowing that your unique qualities, thoughts, and perspectives are what make you valuable and distinct.
Living authentically requires honesty with yourself, being clear about what matters to you, what drives you, and what you stand for, even if it doesn't align with the standards or approval of others. When you embrace your authenticity, you allow yourself to live more freely and openly. You're not hiding parts of yourself to fit in or make others comfortable. This freedom allows you to express your opinions, pursue your passions, and make choices that reflect your true desires rather than what's popular or expected. Embracing authenticity creates a life that's more aligned with your true self, bringing a sense of peace and fulfillment that only comes when you're not pretending or putting on a facade. Living authentically also means you're willing to stand out or be different if that's what's required to stay true to yourself. Many people are uncomfortable with uniqueness, preferring that everyone follows a similar path or conforms to the same ideals. But by choosing to be authentic, you're making a conscious decision to value your uniqueness, even if it sets you apart. This choice often requires courage, as being yourself can sometimes invite judgment or misunderstanding from others. Yet it's through this process of staying true to yourself that you gain inner strength and resilience, learning to trust your own voice over the noise of outside opinions. Authenticity also fosters deeper, more meaningful relationships. When you're honest about who you are, you attract people who appreciate you for your true self, not for a version of you that's been altered to fit in. This leads to connections that are built on genuine understanding and acceptance allowing you to feel seen and valued for who you are. In contrast, when you hide parts of yourself or try to be someone you're not, the relationships you form are often superficial as they're based on a version of yourself that doesn't reflect your real identity. Embracing authenticity allows you to engage with others more openly, creating bonds that are rooted in honesty and mutual respect. Living authentically means letting go of the constant need for validation. Instead of seeking approval from others to feel worthy, you find value within yourself, recognizing that you don't need anyone else's permission to be who you are. This self-acceptance provides a solid foundation, making you less dependent on others' opinions or praise to feel confident. Embracing your authenticity allows you to focus more on what genuinely fulfills you, rather than trying to meet external expectations. You no longer shape your actions around what others might think. Instead, you make choices based on your own beliefs and values, leading to a more satisfying and purposeful life. Embracing authenticity is also a continuous journey of self-discovery. As you grow and change, you'll learn new things about yourself. And being authentic means allowing yourself to evolve. It's not about staying the same, but about being true to who you are in each phase of life, honoring the growth and insights that come with new experiences. Authenticity gives you the freedom to adapt without feeling like you're losing yourself. You can try new things, take risks, and explore different paths, knowing that you're not confined to a rigid idea of who you are supposed to be. Instead, you have the freedom to become who you truly are, moment by moment, as you learn and evolve. In embracing your authenticity, you begin to understand that your uniqueness is a strength, not something to be hidden or minimized. You recognize that the qualities that make you different are what give you the power to make a unique impact in the world. When you live authentically, you contribute to the world in ways only you can, using your individuality to inspire, uplift, and make a difference. This journey isn't always easy as it requires facing fears, confronting doubts, and letting go of societal pressures, but the reward is a life that feels genuine and meaningful. Embracing your authenticity is ultimately about living with integrity and purpose, knowing that you are true to yourself in every step you take. Not seeking validation means breaking free from the constraints of needing approval from others to feel worthy or successful. In a world filled with constant comparisons and societal expectations, it's easy to fall into the trap of believing that your self-worth is contingent upon the opinions of those around you. However, 
Seeking validation from external sources can lead to a fragile sense of self-esteem, one that fluctuates with the whims of others. By choosing not to seek validation, you empower yourself to define your worth based on your own values, beliefs, and achievements, rather than relying on the often fickle affirmations of others. When you stop seeking validation, you open yourself up to a greater sense of freedom. This liberation allows you to pursue your passions and goals without the paralyzing fear of judgment. You become more willing to take risks, knowing that your worth is not tied to how others perceive your choices. This mindset encourages you to explore new opportunities, express your thoughts candidly, and share your ideas without second-guessing yourself. The freedom that comes from self-acceptance fosters creativity and authenticity, enabling you to engage more deeply with your interests and aspirations. Not seeking validation also fosters resilience. When you're grounded in your own sense of self, the opinions of others hold less power over you. You learn to embrace criticism as feedback rather than as a reflection of your worth. This resilience enables you to navigate challenges with a clearer perspective, understanding that setbacks or differing opinions do not diminish your value or capabilities. Instead of becoming discouraged by negative feedback, you can use it as an opportunity for growth and improvement refining your skills and understanding in the process. This journey towards self-validation requires introspection and self-awareness. It involves taking the time to understand your own needs, desires, and strengths. By focusing on what truly matters to you, you can establish your own benchmarks for success and happiness, allowing you to move forward with confidence you start to recognize that you possess the ability to affirm your achievements and contributions, celebrating your efforts without waiting for external acknowledgement. This internal validation creates a strong foundation of self-esteem that doesn't rely on the approval of others, giving you the strength to pursue your goals unapologetically. In addition, by not seeking validation, you cultivate deeper relationships based on authenticity rather than performance. When you're not preoccupied with how others perceive you, you can engage with people more genuinely. You'll attract individuals who appreciate you for who you are, rather than for the persona you feel pressured to present. This leads to more meaningful connections as you can be yourself without fear of rejection. You create a space where open communication thrives and mutual respect flourishes, allowing for relationships that are built on honesty rather than superficiality. Moreover, rejecting the need for validation helps you develop a more positive relationship with failure. In a society that often stigmatizes mistakes, seeking validation can make you fearful of taking chances. However, when you prioritize self-acceptance over external approval, you begin to see failures as opportunities for learning and growth rather than as indicators of your worth. This shift in perspective enables you to embrace your journey fully recognizing that every experience contributes to your development, regardless of the outcome. Ultimately, not seeking validation empowers you to live a life that is true to your authentic self. You become the architect of your own happiness and fulfillment, taking ownership of your choices and experiences. This autonomy leads to a profound sense of satisfaction as you realize that your worth is inherent and does not need to be validated by anyone else. Embracing this mindset allows you to walk through life with confidence, knowing that you have the power to shape your own narrative and define what success and fulfillment mean to you. By releasing the need for validation, you create a path toward a more authentic, empowered, and fulfilling existence, one that celebrates your individuality and unique contributions to the world. Channeling negative energy into strength involves transforming feelings of frustration, anger, or fear into a powerful catalyst for personal growth and resilience. Negative emotions are a natural part of the human experience, and rather than attempting to suppress or ignore them, recognizing and embracing them can be a crucial step in harnessing their potential. 
Instead of letting these feelings overwhelm you or derail your progress, you can redirect that energy toward constructive actions and positive outcomes. This transformation is not about denying your feelings, rather. It's about acknowledging them and using them to fuel your determination and drive. When faced with negativity, it's important to pause and reflect on the source of these emotions. Understanding what triggers your negative feelings can provide insight into your vulnerabilities and help you identify areas in your life that need attention. This self-awareness is key to channeling that energy effectively. By analyzing your responses to negativity, you can pinpoint patterns or recurring themes that inform your actions and decisions. This process helps you recognize that negative energy doesn't have to be paralyzing. It can serve as a valuable signal, highlighting aspects of your life that may require change or improvement. Transforming negative energy into strength often involves engaging in physical activities that allow you to release pent up emotions. Exercise is a powerful outlet for stress and frustration. Whether it's hitting the gym, going for a run, or practicing martial arts, physical movement can help you process negative feelings and convert them into empowerment. The endorphins released during exercise promote a sense of well-being, which can counterbalance feelings of negativity. This shift not only helps you feel better physically, but also enhances your mental clarity, enabling you to approach challenges with a renewed sense of purpose. Moreover, creativity can be a profound outlet for channeling negative energy. Many artists, writers, and musicians have turned their struggles and frustrations into powerful works of art. By expressing your feelings through creative mediums, be it painting, writing, music, or any other form, you allow yourself to process emotions constructively. This form of expression can lead to catharsis and understanding enabling you to confront and embrace your experiences rather than letting them fester. The creative process can be therapeutic, providing a sense of accomplishment and clarity as you transform negative energy into something beautiful and meaningful. Another way to channel negative energy is through goal setting. Use the feelings of frustration or anger as motivation to take action toward your aspirations. When you recognize that negative emotions can drive you to pursue your goals more vigorously, you can redefine the narrative around these feelings. For example, if you feel anger toward an injustice in your life or society, let that fuel your desire to create change. Channeling that energy into taking concrete steps, whether it's advocating for a cause, starting a project, or committing to personal development can empower you to turn your negativity into a force for good. Practicing mindfulness and meditation can also aid in transforming negative energy. These practices encourage you to observe your thoughts and feelings without judgment, allowing you to process negativity more effectively. By developing a mindful approach, you can learn to respond to negative emotions with awareness rather than reaction. This awareness creates space for you to choose how to channel that energy, whether it's into personal growth, helping others, or working toward your goals. Through mindfulness, you become more adept at recognizing when negative energy arises and more skilled at redirecting it toward constructive actions. Furthermore, surrounding yourself with positive influences can significantly impact your ability to channel negativity into strength. Seek out supportive friends, mentors, or communities that encourage resilience and personal growth. Engaging with others who share similar values and aspirations can inspire you to take action, reminding you that you are not alone in your struggles. Positive relationships provide a supportive network that helps you navigate negative emotions, transforming them into collective strength and motivation. In these spaces, you can share experiences, gain perspectives, and draw strength from others' journeys, making your own path forward feel less daunting. Ultimately, channeling negative energy into strength is about recognizing the inherent power in every emotion. It requires a shift in mindset, viewing challenges not as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities for growth and resilience. By acknowledging and embracing your negative emotions, you can transform them into a source of motivation, creativity, and purpose.
This process empowers you to become a more resilient individual equipped to face life's challenges with strength and determination. In this way, negative energy no longer holds you back. Instead, it becomes a catalyst for growth, driving you toward a more empowered and fulfilling life. Standing by your vision means committing wholeheartedly to your goals and aspirations, even when faced with challenges, skepticism, or obstacles. It requires a deep belief in yourself and your path Understanding that your vision is not just a fleeting idea, but a profound expression of who you are and what you want to achieve in life. This commitment is rooted in passion and purpose, providing you with the motivation to persevere, especially during tough times. When you stand firm in your vision, you become your own advocate, navigating the uncertainties of life with resilience and determination. A clear vision serves as a guiding star helping you maintain focus amidst distractions and temptations. In a world filled with noise and competing priorities, it's easy to lose sight of what truly matters to you. By defining your vision, you establish a framework for decision-making that aligns with your goals. Each choice you make, big or small, can be evaluated through the lens of your vision, ensuring that, ensuring that you remain on track and true to your path. This clarity helps you prioritize your time and energy, directing them toward actions that bring you closer to your desired outcomes. Standing by your vision also involves embracing a growth mindset. Challenges and setbacks are inevitable on any journey, but when you remain committed to your vision, you can view these obstacles as opportunities for learning and development. Each challenge becomes a lesson refining your approach and strengthening your resolve. Instead of succumbing to frustration or self-doubt, you cultivate resilience, knowing that every step back can propel you forward if you choose to learn from it. This mindset allows you to adapt and innovate, finding creative solutions that align with your vision. Moreover, standing by your vision requires courage. It often means taking risks and stepping outside of your comfort zone, especially when others may not understand or support your dreams. The fear of judgment or failure can be paralyzing, but true commitment to your vision means pushing through those fears. You must trust in your instincts and the path you've chosen, even when it feels uncertain. This courage to stand alone in your beliefs can be daunting, but it is also incredibly empowering. It reinforces your sense of identity and conviction, allowing you to move forward with confidence regardless of external opinions. In addition, sharing your vision with others can help solidify your commitment to it. When you articulate your aspirations, you invite accountability and support into your journey. Surrounding yourself with individuals who believe in your vision can amplify your motivation and provide encouragement when you face challenges. These supporters can become your sounding board, offering feedback and perspective that enrich your journey. Moreover, sharing your vision allows you to connect with like-minded individuals who may share similar goals or aspirations, creating a community of support that can help sustain your momentum. Standing by your vision also entails a willingness to make sacrifices. Pursuing a meaningful goal often requires prioritizing your vision over immediate gratification or comfort. This might mean dedicating time and resources to your ambitions, even when it feels inconvenient or challenging. The journey toward your vision may require you to let go of certain habits, relationships, or pursuits that no longer serve your purpose. Embracing this idea of sacrifice is crucial as it signifies your commitment to what truly matters to you. The strength of your vision can provide the motivation needed to navigate these sacrifices, reminding you of the greater rewards that lie ahead. Furthermore, a steadfast commitment to your vision fosters a sense of integrity. When you stand by your aspirations, you align your actions with your values, creating a sense of coherence in your life. This alignment brings a deeper sense of fulfillment as you know that you are living authentically and in harmony with your true self. Standing firm in your vision reinforces your self-respect and confidence knowing that you are taking steps toward a life that reflects your beliefs and desires. This integrity enriches your experiences 
as you can approach each day with a sense of purpose and clarity. Ultimately, standing by your vision is an act of empowerment. It is about claiming ownership of your journey and embracing the unique path that you are carving out for yourself. The dedication to your vision fuels your motivation, inspires creativity, and cultivates resilience, enabling you to face adversity with strength and conviction. In a world filled with uncertainty, your vision becomes your anchor, providing direction and purpose. By standing firm in your beliefs and aspirations, you not only shape your future, but also inspire others to pursue their own dreams with courage and determination. This commitment to your vision transforms challenges into stepping stones, guiding you toward a life that is rich in meaning and fulfillment. 